टू फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन गिवस एडिशनल सिक्योरिटी टू अ लॉग इन प्रोसेस बट दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑथेंटिकेशन हैज़ टू बी स्पेसिफिकली एनेबल्ड बाय अ यूजर फॉर दिस ही क्लिक्स अ बटन टू रिसीव एन ऑथेंटिकेशन कोड और टोकन दिस टोकन इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन आफ्टर दैट ही इंस्टॉल्स एन ऑथेंटिकेटर ऐप फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट और फ्रॉम गूगल और फ्रॉम आई यू एस प्ले स्टोर देन ही हैज़ टू एंटर दैट ऑथेंटिकेशन कोड इन टू द ऑथेंटिकेटर ऐप एंड रिसीव अ कोड फ्राम दैट ऐप दिस कोड इज देन एंटर्ड इन टू द ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन एंड द टू फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन गेट्स एनेबल्ड इन दिस टिटोरियल वी शेल एड अ रेजर पेज टू एडेबल टू फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन The remaining modules will be added in the coming tutorials but in this tutorial we shall add a razor page to enable two factor authentication let us first add an anchor link that takes a user to the enable authentication page because we will be giving two factor authentication as an option to a user so we will add a link so that a user who wants to activate two factor authentication then he can use that link to activate his two factor authentication open the solution explorer and locate the login partial partial page double click to open this page we have already completed and discussed this page so we shall directly come to the if block that displays the username of the logged user and the links for the logout As you can see we have added a link to the enable authenticator page. Next let us add the enable authenticator page. Open the solution explorer and locate the pages folder of the auth area. Add if add a folder called mfa to the pages folder so that we can keep the related pages in a common folder. Right click the mfa folder now to add a page called enable authenticator. This page has to show a token code that the user will be required to enter in his authenticator app. The same page has to show a form also where the user has to enter the code that he will bring from the authenticator app. Let us have a look at the markup for this page. First we have the directives for page model and ad tag helper. Then we display the token code in a prominent h2 tag. the property shared key will be set in the backing class for this page after that we have a validation summary for the various model errors then we have used an html table tag to write the form for the code from the validator app the first tr tag contains the input text box and the second tag contains the submit button we can now have a look at the backing class for this page Open the solution explorer and locate the enable authenticator dot cs html dot cs file. Double click this file to to open this file so that we can have a look at the code. First, we have the namespaces. Then we have the enable authenticator model class. Constructor based dependency injection has been used to obtain the user manager service. The instance has been cached as a read only member. then we have a property for the shared key this property is set in the on get method and contains the authenticator token this token is displayed on the page so that the user can read it and enter it into his authenticator app user manager service is used in the on get method to obtain the identity user then the identity user is used to obtain the authenticator key This key is a continuous series of characters which makes it difficult to read. So we have used a for loop to insert spaces after every four characters which makes it well formatted for reading and finally the shared key property is set. Next we have a bind property for code. The onPost method is called when the user posts the form any spaces or hyphens in the code are removed to obtain a continuous token the user manager service is used to verify this token if the token is valid 
टू फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन इज एनेबल्ड एंड द यूजर इज रीडायरेक्टेड टू अ पेज वेयर मोर ऑप्शन रिलेटेड टू टू फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन कैन बी प्रेजेंटेड टू हिम सो नेक्स्ट लेटस ऑल्सो एड द पेज टू फैक्टर ऑथ टू प्रिजेंट मोर ऑप्शन टू द यूजर ओपन द सोल्यूशन एक्सप्लोर एंड राइट क्लिक द एम एफ ए फोल्डर टू एड द टू फैक्टर ऑथ पेज डबल क्लिक टू ओपन इट वी शेल कंप्लीट दिस पेज इन द नेक्स्ट टूटोरियल ओनली बट नाउ वी हैव एडिड इट सो दैट वी कैन व्यू द स्टेटस ऑफ सक्सेस रन द प्रोजेक्ट टू ओपन द होम पेज क्लिक द लॉग इन बटन एंड लॉग इन इन टू द वेबसाइट we verify that the enable two factor auth link appears now it is shown in the header click the link now we see a code for the authenticator app open the authenticator app and enter this code